Guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's a good day, we finally got the Z Force back. And I'm gonna give you some tips that is gonna help you if you're going to purchase a CF Moto or you already own one. And these are some of the mistakes that I made and hopefully it helps you out. Stay tuned, we got a good video. So let's get started, right? Here's the thing. I bought the Z Force back in 2019 and I bought this as my first side by side, not knowing much about side by sides, got into the Z Force. Uh great machine. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a great machine. It does what you expect it to do. Now, what happened is we developed um, sort of a gear shifting issue and the gear shifter kept coming out of gear by itself. And this drove me nuts. No matter what we did, no matter how we tried to fix it, it kept coming out of gear. And over time, this caused the gears to grind and it caused transmission issues. Um, so when I realized that it was a big deal, I actually ordered a new gear shifter from eBay and installed it, adjusted it, and it still wasn't staying in gear. So it wasn't really the gear shift, there was something internal going on in the transmission that was causing it to come out of gear. Now, dealing with this issue for some time, it uh, it definitely destroyed the transmission. Um, it got to the point where once we put it in gear, it wasn't gonna go anywhere as soon as the engine had just a little bit of torque, it would grind up and couldn't drive it. So we sent it down uh, to the um, to the place I bought it from. Now, when I purchased the Z Force, I got this uh, warranty, right? It was, um, I think it's a four year warranty and it's gonna cover everything, right? So the dealership sold me. They sold me this fantastic aftermarket warranty. All right, great, put it on there. Yeah, no, man, I don't, if I, something breaks, I want it to be covered 100%. Why would you buy a machine, spend thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 a machine and not get the warranty? That's crazy. Especially, you know, you ride these things off road, you're gonna, you know, damage them. Um, unless you're just putting around, things are gonna happen. Now, brought it down to the dealership and uh, explained to them the issues. And it was, it was clear what was going on. I mean, there was something wrong with the, with the transmission. So, you know, they they um, they had to call the warranty company for the teardown. OK, great. They they do the teardown and uh, then they find out what's going on. And I'm going to post some pictures of this so you can see, you know, what what they found. Now, after the uh, warranty company got the information of you know, what was there, they went down to the dealership because that's their job. And, um, you know, they took a look at the machine and they sent me this email. Now, this is ridiculous. This email, I mean, this, this is, this is just, this got me so pissed off and so fired up because this is complete BS. And I'm going to show you this email, take a look at it. And we're going to talk about this. All right, so now we're looking at this email, right? And here's the thing. This is what really pissed me off, okay? Is it says, based on the inspector's findings, that the cause of the failures was directly due to operational error, which means that it was my fault that this is what happened. I mean, come on. They said that the wear and tear was due to forcing the sh uh, shift lever into gear while the engine is above idle. <laughs> Serious? So now I am so fired up. Basically the warranty company is telling me that they're not gonna cover the machine because 
it was due to user error. Now, this this is not uh, something new to me. I've been riding my whole life. I understand machines. Not once did we force this machine in gear while it was driving. And that's basically what they said. So I sent them over an email and actually a few emails explaining my situation to them. And they said that the claim is done and over with and they're not covering it. And I found this out to be bull. You know, I mean, come on. I paid a lot of money for a warranty from an aftermarket company and they threw me to the curb. And they threw me to the curb saying it was my fault. How do I how do I fix the situation? So now I'm stuck with a machine. The dealer is quoting me twenty five hundred to three grand to fix this. And this is this is insane. So long story short, after going back and forth with the dealer, asking the dealer what they could do for me, because this is my second machine. Or I'm sorry, I purchased another machine from them at the time. So I had purchased the Z Force one thousand. Then uh, I purchased the Maverick Turbo RR. So I purchased both my vehicles from them. And I said, listen, there's got to be something you guys can do for me. This isn't my mistake. This is a manufacturer defect that's that's going on with the machine. Um, so they basically told me that, oh, it's out of their hands and there's nothing they can do about it. So now I'm stuck with a machine that's going to cost me $3,000 to fix after I paid for a warranty on the machine. Not my fault. I didn't break it. If I did break it, I would be like, yeah, no, obviously, I don't know how to drive a side by side. I'm throwing it in the gear. I'm not supposed to. That's not the case. That's ridiculous. So let's jump to the good part because I'm heated up. The conversation is making me crazy. But let's get to the good part. So now I tell the dealership because here's, here's where I'm at. I'm very frustrated. Don't have a machine. I have the Maverick in the garage and I don't go riding without two machines in case one of us breaks down or something happens, I'm not getting stuck in the middle of the woods with no way of getting out. So that's why we have two machines. Now, I called the dealership after I put some thought into this situation. I said, listen, you got to call CF Moto. And this was me saying this. You got to call CF Moto and explain to them the situation because I know there's issues with these machines. I know for a fact there's issues with these machines just from Facebook and you know the groups that I'm in and what I see. I know there's a fact with the, uh, a problem with the gear shifter um, and I know there's a problem with the transmission. So they call CF Moto and CF Moto takes care of it. Yes, they take care of it 100%. They say, yes, we understand the issue. Um, they explain to them that the, that the shifter was coming out of gear on its own. Um, and that's what, that's what really caused this whole problem was the gear shifter coming out of gear on its own. Now, once again, you can't just adjust your gear shifter and think that this is going to fix the problem. There's something internal in that transmission that was causing this to happen from the factory. Now it, it was good for about a year or so until it got worse and worse and worse over time. Um, I, ha I should have taken care of it earlier, and that was my mistake. But CF Moto said they would take care of the problem. So what they did is instead of getting a whole new engine, which I preferred, obviously, they had replaced the transmission. The dealership took care of all of the labor costs. Um, they also um, sent the new rear differential, put the new rear diff in there. And as you can see, I mean, those gears were grinded down to nothing. The spindle was, was there was nothing left to it. So, um, you know, we got the machine back and I took it out for a couple of times. It's, it's winter time, it's cold out. And, uh, you know, I haven't put too much seat time in there. But, um, you know, it's definitely way better. But the other issue too is, you know, now I have a machine that's been taken apart. And there was another thing too that I failed to mention. Um, after they put, you know, put this thing back together, they called me up and said, uh, one of the heads where the spark plug, uh, threads are that the threads were stripped, stripped to nothing. And, um, this is crazy. So when they took the spark plug out of the head, it, there was nothing left with the whole, the whole piece came out. So they needed a new head. 
They call it CF Moto, and I never touch the spark plugs in the machine. I had it serviced once because the machine only has 400 miles on it. Um, I had it serviced once, and it was at the dealership. So the dealership was the only place to ever touch this machine. And uh, so CF Moto gave us a new head. And, you know, now we're... Now we have a machine that's been torn down, uh, had a ton of engine work done to it. It seems to be running great now, but you know, you buy something and you spend, it's not like when you buy a CF Moto, you know, my machine itself, I think I paid almost 14,000 for it, you know, with the warranty and everything else. I mean, that's not a cheap, it's not a cheap vehicle. It's a lot of money to spend on a on a side-by-side. -side. It's a lot of money to spend on the toy. Even though it's a CF Moto, uh, it's still very expensive. And these problems, you know, do they exist in other manufacturers, other machines, other brands? Yeah, most likely. I mean, nobody's perfect. No machine's perfect. Um, but I'm definitely a little bit disappointed that I had to go through this. And I know there's a lot of guys that do go through these issues with these machines. It seems like CF Moto more than other brands. Now, I have my Maverick and you know, that's a that's like comparing apples to oranges. I mean, there's there's no there's no comparing the two. If you're comparing them as a side-by-side, -side, then, you know, the Maverick's a just a, a great machine. It's a well-built machine, solid um you know, it's, it's, I haven't had too many miles on that machine yet either. I mean, there's only 250 miles on that machine. We didn't do a lot of riding last year because we were down one vehicle. And, you know, that's the other issue too. If, if you depend on two vehicles to go riding with, um, you know, that kind of put me out last year. So we're sitting with a brand new X3 and no Z Force because it's in the shop for six months. And that was the whole riding season was pretty much done with. So, you know, here we are. Eh, riding season is going to be starting pretty soon, and we're going to put a ton of miles on this thing, and we are going to put it through the test again. And if I have an issue with this machine, if something like this happens again, I'm going to get rid of it, and we're going to get, honestly, we're probably going to get a Razor uh, Pro XP. I mean, those are great machines. Um, are they going to burn to the ground? I don't know. It's a Razor. Who knows? But anyways, my point is, is that the Z Force is a good machine. Stick with us through the videos, and we're just gonna kind of put it through the test, see how it performs, and see if we have any more issues with these machines. You know, we're, we don't we don't purchase these to to baby them. We purchase them to really ride them, have fun. You know, I mean, we're 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 out there in the woods every weekend. You know, we're we're you know going fast. I mean, I didn't buy a, a lawnmower. You know, I bought a, a Z Force one thousand to go crazy with it. And that's what we're doing. So, you know, I'm going to leave it at this. It's, it's a good machine for the price. And I think that's what a lot of people buy these for is, is, you know, uh, price wise, you're getting yourself into a decent vehicle. Um, having the bells and whistles on there, like the winch and, you know, whatever it comes with from the factory. That's cool. A lot of machines now are coming with, you know, all these bells and whistles. I mean, the whole side-by-side -side market's changing so quickly. And, you know, it's, it's what I buy the Z Force again. Hmm. I'm not even going to put my answer on here. I'm just going to leave it like this. I like the Z Force and we're going to, you know, we're going to put it through hell this year and we're going to see how it winds up. So maybe we'll leave it at the fact of that's going to be my determining factor if CF Moto is a decent brand to buy. That's it. All right, let's leave it from there. Hopefully you guys understand and learn something from this video that if you're going to get a warranty on your machine, get the factory warranty. Don't get an aftermarket market warranty. These guys are crooks. They're ripoffs, man. They just want your money and they don't follow through. Um, I mean, this was an easy claim, easy thing to do. And the insurance company or the warranty company should have covered it. That's BS. So don't buy an aftermarket warranty on my Maverick X3. I got a factory warranty with that machine and haven't had any issues with it. But if I do, I expect 
that the manufacturer will take care of the issue. Now, see if Moto did take care of us 100%, and we're grateful for that, no doubt. So we'll leave it at we'll leave it at that. Don't get an aftermarket warranty. Get a factory warranty. Um, I sort of blame a dealership for that issue because how the hell was I supposed to know that I was getting some crook company as a warranty company? Um, I mean, partially dealership, I would blame them and partially myself for not uh, not knowing any better. And hopefully this guy's, you know, this helps you guys out to understand that do not do that. And, uh, you know, as far as the machine goes, if you're having issues with the gear shifter and you're getting grinding and it's coming out of gear, get it fixed right away because it's gonna lead to bigger issues and you don't wanna be out of a machine for that, that long a period of time, it's not worth it. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it right there. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching the video. More to come. Uh, subscribe, like, I mean, you know, if I can get some uh, some more content here and we're going to work on some great stuff this year, really focusing on just getting out there, uh, hitting the trail systems and, you know, family fun, family activities. I do this with my kids. This is what we do. We enjoy it. Uh, it teaches them a lot, you know, so um, yeah, just follow us. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.